All right, looks like we're live, but we're waiting on a board member to get a quorum. Can't start until they arrive, so we will <laughs> twiddle our thumbs, and hopefully play background music till we can start. I don't know, Joe, should we ask and see if there's anyone on the, f is there anyone on the phone right now? Yes, no, yes, Kurt? Kurt, are you able to hear us? Pam. Kurt, are you able to hear us? Yes. Thanks for making it. Yeah, appreciate Thanks, Pam. Did Lynette get a hold of you, Lynette? Yeah. She did, okay. Because she never let me know if you were coming or not, so I, was yeah. like, I wasn't sure if I was... Gotcha. Number four. Key, yeah. key or not. Yes. Okay. You're always critical. Yes. <laughs> All right, we have our quorum. Uh, while I think we're trying to figure out getting someone on the phone, we will uh, go ahead with calling the roll, please, Steve. Oh, I should, should call us to order. Sure. Uh, so we will, now that we have a quorum, officially call the July 25th Architecture Review Board meeting to order. Now if you could do the rolls. Sure. Thank you. Zachary Rust. Here. Joel Clark. Here. Pam Langan. Here. Dick Lindy. Here. And um, Jerry Jones, Bob Heimroll, and Dave Aldig indicated that they would not be able to attend tonight. All right. If we could uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And for our board members, any potential conflicts of interest with our item today? Hearing none, we will move to item number four, the approval of the minutes from June 13th. Move they be approved and presented. Second. We, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. Thank you. I think I'm getting a little feedback. I don't know if that's annoying anyone else, if that's adjustable at all. Um, and do we have a caller on the line yet? Kurt, can you hear us and can we hear you? So Kurt is saying he can see us but not hear us. <laughs> the sign language, right? Jason, you'll just have to do interpretive dance. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get it approved. <laughs> Kurt, we're just waiting a bit to see if we can get you if, connected. If you want, what I could do just real briefly before they get into this, I could just kind of explain to everyone where this has taken place because the owner is obviously familiar with that. So sure. this particular um, property that we're looking at today is in the um, former Shopco parking mm -hmm. lot. So it, it's directly south of Applebee's. Uh, Shopco's in the process of right now being renovated into a Hobby Lobby and a Ross Dress for Less. And those had come to the board previously. Um, one of the things that the owner of that property did create this outlot that's in the parking lot, you know, just south of, of uh, Applebee's. So they have been working with Jiffy Lube and now Jiffy Lube is coming in here with the site plan drawing and the architectural plans that you have before you today. So um, I'm sure we can get the owner on and then Jason Day uh, is uh, from Excel Engineering is here, and he can also speak to the uh, project. 
Well, in the interest of keeping stuff moving, Jason, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself and uh, give us a little background on what's being proposed. Sorry about that. Good now? Yep. There yeah, we go. <laughs> um, in the southern, I guess the south two thirds of a uh, portion of the building that'll consist of four service bays. Um, the two furthest to the north, those will be uh, the quick lube service with a uh, oil changing uh, pit underneath. And then uh, the furthest two bays to the south, that'll be for like alignments, brake jobs. Um, tire replacement, things like that. Um, buildings uh, kind of centrally located within uh, that uh, parking area south of Applebee's. Um, anything that we are not repaving um, on the property will become green space. Um, during our pre-op meeting with uh, Steve and city staff, you know, we kind of went through the building elevations um, to some extent. Um, Jiffy Loop's prototypical architecture is 100% uh, Oh, Jimmy Hendrix. Um, and, uh, you know, Steve said that wouldn't fly. So, um, you know, he provided us some architectural, you know, details and, and pictures of what Hobby Lobby and I forget the other user that's going in. Is it Ross? Yes. Um, yeah. What they were looking at doing to kind of mirror um, what they were going to be uh, proposing or providing for their um, front facades. So we've kind of tried to mirror that to some extent. Um, provided a full brick stone wainscot um, all the way around the four sides of the building. Um, we did try and provide some additional articulation on the east side facing Taylor uh, with some uh, variable height uh, parapet um, as well as providing um, some additional um, emphasis and material for the brick kind of centered around um, the overhead doors for bays two and three, as well as on the customer um, end of the building. Um, we also provided some, some uh, awning canopies over uh, the two entry doorways on the customer end, as well as over the, uh, the centered windows on the, on the north elevation. Um, I know there were some staff comments um, that were in the uh, uh, the report um, that was that was put out I think one was just question on um, as far as uh, equipment um, there will be a RTU unit um, on the roof um, I think the the biggest RTU unit that would be used is a five ton which would fall below the top of the shortest parapet height on the roof um, and that would kind of be centered in between bays two and three um, on the roof. I think we also provided just a perspective from Taylor Drive uh, to the top of the building showing that that uh, unit being fully, um, um, I guess, not in view. Um, I forget what other questions are in the report, Steve. I think one was just on maybe the window um, on the return portion of the customer area that's kind of shown on the, on the south elevation. Um, there is a brick material, brick, uh, yeah, brick material in between the window and kind of that inside corner. You can't see it just because of the bump outs there, but um, that's where Jiffy Loop puts the window. If you, know, you guys would rather see it centered, I'm sure we could accompany that um, and center that on the south elevation of that return. Um, as far as signage goes, this would be a typical Jiffy Loop sign package. 
um, how they would present their signage. I think there was a comment on signage for the north elevation potentially being centered over the, over the, um, the center window there. I think Jiffy Lube likes to present their signage closest to the, you know, the, the front of the building towards, sure. towards the roadway. Um, so that's fairly typical for them. They'll kind of flip the signage to where the, wherever the closest roadway is. And with this building kind of being set back into the site and behind some vegetation out front, um, just south of uh, their main entry, I think they'd prefer to keep the signage at that location on that north face. I think the only other question was on the dumpster enclosure. Uh, it was referenced on the plan to the architectural plans, but we don't yeah. have those. So if sure. You describe yeah. what's being proposed there. Yeah, please. dumpster enclosure will be um, split face block um, with color to match the, the brick material on the building with a stone cap. Um, and then they either do a metal panel for the gates or, or vertical treks boards um, to complement the, the brick material, the stone material. Great, thank you. I appreciate you running through those staff comments. Um, the, the window on that south elevation, whether it's centered in the EFAS or not, I guess I, I could go either way on that. Centered might look nicer from the outside, from the inside it looked as if there might be a piece of equipment. I don't know how high that is. Yeah, I think there's a built-in with the TV just east of that window. So I, I think that's strategically where Jiffy Lube has it just to avoid that that built-in furniture on the inside. So um, let's just address that one with the board. Any other thoughts on that window on the south elevation? How critical it is to anyone to center that window in the EFAS, knowing it might disrupt the uh, the interior layout? And and from a staff perspective, it was, I, I, I wasn't as familiar with the interior layout. I don't think it's a huge deal one way or the other. It was just something that was noticeable. And so I, there's no, you know, recommendation one way or the other. I'm, no, it was a good, great question. Uh, and if, if someone feels strongly that it should be centered, it can certainly be included in a, a motion. Not hearing any strong requirements on that one. Uh, the other one, I guess a couple of other pieces I wanted to comment on. The question about mm -hmm. the north wall signage. Uh, that one, I, I do agree with staff comments that if we could locate that in the center bay with a higher parapet and over the windows and awning, mm -hmm. I think that would look better. And given that just around the corner to the east on the brick elevation is where the, the next piece of signage is, it doesn't seem to me that they need to be that close. You still sure. have the visibility from, from the street. Mm -hmm. um, and the approach, I think that whole north elevation is going to be visible coming from the north. Sure. Uh, so we've done that before. Like I said, again, it's Jiffy Loop's preference to have it closest to the road, but we've centered it before um, upon a request, so. And then the only other question I had, and it was really minor, was on the west elevation, the signage there. Uh, if we're moving the north signage over the window and awning, if we would want to center the west elevation signage also over the doorway and awning, or just leave it centered on the wall above as you have it. Again, I, I could go either way on that. Mm -hmm. uh, and without seeing it, it's hard to know if it's gonna feel too crunched if it gets moved to the left sure. there. Um, don't know if you have thoughts on that. No, I mean, how we're showing it is tip, would be prototypical to the Jiffy Lube style. So I think their preference would be to leave it. Um, and that elevation really isn't visible from the street. Right, it's kind of on the back side. Yeah. Sure. So those were my thoughts. Any other questions or comments or thoughts from the board? Nothing. In that case, I would certainly entertain a motion. I would move, um, and move forward as presented, but on the north elevation, moving the signage in the middle panel above the windows there, and, but leaving the signage on the west elevation as is. Second. 
Super, so we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? We're all clear that the only variation from what's being submitted then is moving that west signage. To the north. The north I'm sorry, the elevation. north. Right. <laughs> Looking right at it. Yeah, the <laughs> no north elevation, thanks. I just didn't know if we should see if the owner, by chance, one more time, whether or not he can oh, hear us. Oh, great phone. point. Kurt, are you there? Can you uh, let us know if you're on the phone? Just want to make sure. All right. All right. Sorry, Kurt. We're not able to uh, to get you on the line for this. So hopefully, nothing here is uh, too adverse to be able to do. Right. I don't think so. So we've got the motion, the second. We've had discussion. Hearing nothing further. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion is approved. As noted. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank very you, everybody. Much. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow night. All right, so our next meeting is scheduled for August 8th, tentatively at least. Uh, and if there's nothing else, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion and second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned, thanks everyone. Yeah, I appreciate everyone making it. Well, if we would add one less, they wouldn't have been able to go, so thanks you guys for coming today, I appreciate it. Yes. Well, I know I had a, I had something right before this, and so I was I didn't know if Lenny.